In one month, Ohio will vote whether to legalize pot. It's not your grandfather's marijuana. But Ohio's governor is concerned. Its potency is significantly higher than it was years ago. So what's for sale and just how strong is it? Yes, that big decision about marijuana looms in Ohio. News 5 investigator Jonathan Walsh just back from Michigan where recreational marijuana has been legal now for, what, five years? Yeah, I mean, it's allowed over there for people 21 and over in Michigan. Well, in our new series, Marijuana in Ohio, we'll take a look at the good, the bad, and everything in between. Tonight, you'll hear how cannabis stores work, the various products available, and just how potent those products are. It's been working here in Michigan. Uh, I don't personally partake, but I don't really have an issue with people who do. I just know that they're everywhere. They are popping up everywhere. Kendall Weeks is a regular cannabis store customer. Where people are able to get their medicine now, and that's all that matters, in my opinion. And there are so many options. Inside Nature's Remedy in Ferndale, it feels more like a high-end boutique than a so-called pot shop. What can I do better? How can I change this? Wally Manjo and his wife Bonnie own the store, and there's a lot to keep in mind. The monitoring system, the compliance side of that, the product, the inventory. To give you an idea of how this works, this is how the product arrives to the store. One pound bags, even to larger five pound bags, before it's then sorted into these special bins. From there, orders are measured and filled in the back room. Staff create products, and lots of data track the whole process. Wally showed us what some gummies look like, different flavors and doses, like 20 milligrams per piece. Some people cut them in half or cut them in fours. There are pre-rolled joints, one, two, or many more looking like a cigarette pack. There are numerous types of buds inside these containers, and you can see each sample in the store. You can pick it up, you can look at it, and uh, you could also press the back like this, smoke them out this little hole right there, so it'd just be like that. Displays show you prices plus percentages of potency. Think of it kind of like alcoholic drinks. Some have less alcohol, like light beer, and others have much more, like strong vodkas. But all cannabis products have been tested and certified before you buy. There's a section for topicals. Like, say like your back hurts or like you have like your wrist is hurt, you take some of that, apply it onto your wrist or your back. It won't be, you won't get like high in a way unless you use a lot of it. Traditional THC vaping, where devices create an aerosol looking like a water vapor, are very popular, as well as disposable versions. These ones, right out the box, good to go. You could just put it to your mouth and smoke it. So it's like a pre-roll for vape. Exactly, yeah. But not all stores are the same. A Tuesday night at 6.30 right now, and it's just a constant flow of people. Just down the road is King of Buds in Ferndale. Customers can see the bulk products in these containers on the wall. Customers have the ability to be able to look at the product. They're able to smell it overall. Kevin Brojek helps run the dispensary that has a wide range of displays, prices, and products. There are low-dose chocolate candies and higher-dose, more potent live resins. You can put it sublingually directly underneath your tongue, go directly in your bloodstream. You can get it into your system faster as well, too. And even cannabis-infused drinks with a packet and a jar. But all you have to do is mix water into this mason jar, and it creates Kool-Aid. But even though the stores are different, they both have sophisticated security systems, ID checks to help avoid underage customers, employees called bud tenders who will answer your cannabis questions. They could ask me like 500 questions. I'll stand here for an hour with them if I needed to. I think more people are experimenting or open to it at least. Open like King of Bud's customer, Kendall who says she's experienced the positive effects of recreational legalization. I've seen a lot of good change. People are a lot happier. Well, inside the stores, there are several kinds of cannabis. You have sativa, which helps uplift you. You have uh, something called indica, which kind of mills you out, relaxing, and then hybrids that mix the two together for a totally different kind of experience, so. I'm still trying to get that image of the five pound bags of marijuana. How often can you do that legally, right? Oh, my goodness. <laughs> All right, you said something about strengths here. There are different strengths? Boy, I I'm telling you what, you know, one milligram all the way up to the most potent that Kevin tells us is something called a dab. What you do is you add heat to it, you add a couple of other things, and it 
creates a vapor, and that is very, very strong, something for more experienced cannabis users. My goodness, I gotta yeah. do some digging on this. this right. Well, I'll be here for you. Wild stuff, I know you will be. <laughs> uh, tomorrow, this series, in fact, takes us inside a state-certified testing facility that inspects cannabis products before they're even sold. Jonathan, wow, eye-opening stuff. Thank you so much, see you back here tomorrow.